Welcome to another video. This video is gonna be different. This video is gonna be a reaction video. Like and subscribe to support this channel and if you want a part 2. So let's get into the video. Who knows what lurks in those crystal marine waters? I don't think anybody can uh, dive on Bimini and not believe that these are man-made artifacts. Might be waiting to be discovered below the surface. In fact, much remains to be learned from exploring the mysteries of the deep since more than 80% of it remains unmapped, unobserved, and unexplored. Imagine that the lowest point on Earth, the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean, sits at a staggering 36,000 feet below sea level. What might you find? Ancient cities? Fleets of sunken ships, underwater museums, even ghosts. Oh, the terror. Here are the 15 most terrifying objects found in the deep sea. Number 15, Lake Neuchatel Shark Statue. Talk about terrifying. There's zero information about the actual shark statue that appears in the video. And trust me, we researched and we researched. But the location is Lake Neuchatel in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, a popular diving destination for European divers. It's unclear how or why the shark statue was located there. And this footage just makes that fact even more terrifying. But Switzerland is a very popular place to go diving, especially in the winter. With a surface of 84 square miles, Lake Neuchatel is the largest lake located entirely in Switzerland and the 59th largest lake in Europe. The Thiel River enters at its southwestern end and issues from it at its northeastern end. The northwestern shore is the most thickly settled and the slopes are covered with vineyards. But whoever placed that sculpture at the bottom of the lake? Are you the Swiss Banksy? Are you responsible for more terrifying art underwater elsewhere? Before we move on, if you don't smash the like button, or subscribe and click the notification bell today, it, the clown, will appear under your bed tonight. Number 14. The Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon. South Pacific's Caroline Island harbors the Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon. In a surprise attack by American allies in World War II, approximately 250 Japanese aircraft were destroyed and more than 50 ships sunk. An estimated 400 Japanese soldiers were killed in one ship alone, trapped in the cargo hold. Most of the fleet remains in exactly the same spot it was left, largely forgotten by the world until the late 1960s. Jacques Cousteau's 1969 film Lagoon of Lost Ships explored the wreck littered lagoon, and many of the sunken ships were then still full of bodies. As wreck divers brought attention to the site, Japan began recovery efforts, and many bodies have been removed and returned to their homes for burial. Some wreck divers often wondered, do the anguished souls of the crew and passengers who perished haunt those who dared to explore the shipwreck's remains? If you dive wrecks long enough, you'll hear tales of divers who were left with the bone-chilling feelings of this sort. Crushed by outside pressure. There could have been no survivors. Some indicate there was merely an eerie mood cast over the wreck, while others have suggested that they saw something down there that they can't explain. Number 13. SS, SS Thistlegorm. The world famous SS Thistlegorm was sunk in 1941 in the Gulf of Suez at the northern end of the Red Sea. It became a world class visitor destination. Packed to the gunwales with a cargo of supplies destined for the British Fifth Army based in Alexandria. Armored carriers, motorcycles, jeeps. Trucks, airplane parts, rifles, radio equipment, and a plentiful supply of Wellington boots can all be seen during your dive. The Bisselgorm is heaven for wreck enthusiasts, but is also one of the most underrated fish dives in the area, attracting schooling barracuda and providing a hunting ground for giant tuna and snapper. Our excursions require an early start. After breakfast on board, you'll make two dives on the wreck. In the early 50s, Jacques Cousteau discovered it by using information from local fishermen. He raised several items from the wreck, including a motorcycle, the captain's safe, and the ship's bell. The February 1956 edition of the National Geo. To end this video, so if you want to episode 2 or 3, like and subscribe to support this channel and share with your family and friends. Bye bye.